Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to start answering our test and we will understand how the test paper will look. So let's click on start test. At the first instincts, you will see that your screen has been split into two sections, the left hand side and the right hand side. To the left hand side, you will be able to see that now your screen is in complete screening. It's completely locked. You cannot exit from here on. And most importantly, the left hand side has your question along with some of the options for you to answer. So please have a look and read your question carefully. Mark your selected options as per your requirement. At the same time, we have certain amount of marks allotted for the question. Marks currently allotted is one mark. So please remember that there is no negative marking and therefore zero for the red. One mark stands for the right answer getting its required mark. However, on this left hand side at the very bottom, if you follow with the red spotlight, we are presented with two other buttons. Number one, mark for review and number two, reset. Mark for review would put your question for review by indicating the question with an orange underline. So let me click it and you see that this needs review is now put an orange underline below the question. You can click on the second number to go to the next one. The green color indicated in the first question identifies that you did make a marking. You can go back to that question number one and probably wish to reset your answer by clicking the reset button. This eliminates the green marking and still leaves it for review for further analysis if you wish to come back to the question at the very end of your test. You can go to the next question once you have read it, mark your selected option. You can then maybe opt for review again, or maybe opt for the right answer and your question gets marked in green. With this, you can move to the next section. The top four sections highlight the various sections of your paper. Mathematics, combined, followed by statistics coming up, followed by some questions in computer science. Right now, I'm at mathematics and I have got a single question. The question highlighted in white with a blue outline indicates the current question I am selected. I have selected upon the one that I am currently doing. If I do not know the answer and neither have I made any demarcations of my answer, I can go to the next question. This leaves my original question in gray. Once I'm done with reading both the questions, if I feel that I still do not know my answer, I could mark them for review or maybe in the second case, make an answer and go ahead with my next section. In this way, you can understand that we have three important legends. Number one, a white box with a blue outline that indicates the question you are currently working upon a gray box with no demarcations or no outlines indicates a question you have not yet pressed upon. A gray scaled button with an orange underline, as you can see in this case, would indicate a question that you marked for review to come back at the very end of the paper. And last, a green box with, with the question number in it identifies that you have attempted this question and you wish to go ahead. So those are some of the key and the most important facts that one must keep in mind while answering the test. While all of this is going on, I also want to stress upon another factor like in computer science set of questions. Here we are attempting an analysis of comprehension based questions. In these type of questions, there is a paragraph or a passage or a data table that may be given and then a series of few questions for you to answer. 
the information will be demarcated by the letter I, which refers to the paragraph, table, or passage that you are meant to read. Successively, you will be then be able to answer the remaining questions associated with that paragraph. Once again, in this case, I am presented with another letter I that indicates a new paragraph for me to answer the next five questions. So these I's stand for the paragraph passage or data tables, which you will read, analyze, and interpret to use it for question number one, two, and three in this case, while the next letter I would be the paragraph for which you would be answering the questions four, five, six, seven, and eight. In this way, you are able to answer all of your questions. And now that we know some of the details about the question demarcations, the use of the buttons mark for review and reset, I want to stress upon another important factor. Ever if, while the paper is on, you are presented with a query, how do you deal with this? So while your test is on, you have proctors who will be observing you and will be able to guide you with your test. You can avail to help by clicking on the top right hand side, the chat box button, which is right next to the countdown timer available for you to answer your test. Once you click on the chat box button, a chat table will open up here and you can type in the chat. Hello. And that gets submitted. And then you can continue to type. I have a question or a query and press enter. You can ask the teacher about the time left, but however, the time is already pre present. So we request you to please look at the time slot instead of asking the question of how much time is left. For a teacher, you just have your test. But for you, you know the exact amount of time allotted for you with respect to this test. So please follow the timing guidelines that come up on your screen while you are answering this test. You may raise a question like you could state that question number eight has an error. The options given do not match the question. I'm just putting a question of my choice. This would alert your proctors to address the questions to required faculty and maybe bring about a solution to the problem. Not just these questions, but in case there are questions associated with you wanting to drink water or maybe having your laptop shutting down due to lack of current or a Wi-Fi related issue, you could immediately put a response in the chat. However, while the test is on, we request you to ensure that your devices are completely charged or may be connected to a source of current at all times through the test. You will not be allowed to move about the place, so please maintain minimal movement while the test is on and to avail to the various features that have been placed for you. You can once again click on the chat button to close the chat box and return to your question. In the next video, we shall discuss about submissions. Thank you.